This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript. Um, have you ever heard of a guy named Maximilian Karl Emil Max Weber? Well, apparently he was a famous German sociologist, philosopher, and political economist. Although I personally always get him confused with the actor on ALF. Anywho, this other Max Weber wrote a couple of books, The Protestant Ethic and The Spirit of Capitalism, although of course they were written in German. I studied German in college for two years, and at this point in my life, all I can remember is Alf Wiedersehen. Fortunately for us C-minus language students, in 1930, Talcott Parsons translated the book into English. Um, Weber's ideas uh, had a significant influence on social theory, social research, and the discipline of sociology. It's, uh, it's uh, possible to observe Weber's cited words together with the names of Emil Durkheim and Karl Marx, and uh, they all are the three leading creators of sociology. Um, Weber's primary considerations were um, about the processes of uh, rationalization, uh, secularization, and uh, disenchantment, which uh, he related to the rise of um, capitalism and uh, modernity, and um, which he saw as the result of a new way of thinking. Um, Weber uh, emphasized the importance of uh, cultural influences embedded in religion as a means for um, understanding the uh, essence of capitalism. He, uh, he was also the first to capital categorize social authority into separate forms, which he named as um, charismatic, traditional, and rational-legal. His analysis of bureaucracy emphasized the uh, modern state institution's focus on rational legal authority. Um, Weber also made many other contributions to um, economic history, economic theory, and um, methodology. Uh, German idealism influenced Weber's thought. Um, especially important to Weber's considerations is the uh, neo-Kantian belief that, re that reality is very chaotic. What with all the uh, rational order deriving from how the human mind focuses on um, specific aspects of reality and uh, organizes the resulting perceptions and uh, whatnot. Concer considering um, Weber's understanding of the word, he, uh, he tried to create at least 1,500 specific and uh, comprehensive sets of rules uh, governing uh, social sciences and, uh, in particular, sociology, um, another college-level class I did poorly in. Weber's considerations developed from the, um, the um, context of a more uh, extensive discussion about um, the methodology of social sciences. Um, Weber's position was uh, closely related to historicism, as uh, he understood social actions um, as being connected to um, particular historical contexts, and, um, and its analysis required the understanding of um, subjective motives of individuals. Thus, uh, Weber's methodology emphasizes the um, use of comparative historical analysis. Also, um, it was more interesting for uh, Weber to an analyze how a particular out, out, outcome was the result of, a, of a various historical processes. He did not try to predict some outcomes or processes in the future. Um, the main topic of uh, Weber's works is um, devoted to rationalization and uh, individual freedom and uh, rational society. Uh, this theme developed in the re relationship between psychological motives, cult cultural values, uh, religious beliefs, and um, the structure of the organization, which is uh, determined by the economy. Um, concerning rationalization, uh, Weber first claimed the individual cost-benefit calculation, then the bureaucratic organization, and finally, understanding the reality through mystery and magic. Also, um, nine times out of ten, human fate, according to Weber, is characterized by rationalization and intellectualization. This audio is used for the transcriber test at GoTranscript.